hi there thanks so much for joining me today this video is an eyeshadow bingo using my two focus palettes for the month of february the sydney grace enduring love palette and the she's all that palette from ColourPop. i do have an eyeshadow bingo playlist on my channel where i usually do it by brand so i'll do one with all of my ColourPop shadows all of my ABH shadows, Urban Decay, Juvia's Place. I have accumulated quite a few of those videos over the years, so if you like watching them, I do have a playlist. And I have done both a Sydney Grace and a ColourPop eyeshadow bingo in the past, but I have not used this ColourPop palette in particular. I didn't own this at the time that I did that ColourPop bingo. And I did do a Sydney Grace bingo but it was with this palette and the eight singles that i have from sydney grace so this one's going to be a little bit different plus it's the two palettes together and there are two eyeshadows from the she's all that palette that i won't be including in this random generator list the first one is uncensored here this is just a glitter shade i don't want to put this on my eyes and then this shade here infatuation this used to be a cream burgundy shade i think it was like a cream to powder or maybe it was just a straight up cream i don't remember but that one dried up and so i took it out and i put something else in i want to say this is one of the shades from the ColourPop going coconuts palette but i can't remember and so since this one isn't a part of the palette on its own and this shade i don't want to put on my eyes they haven't been included so i have 25 eyeshadows that i can randomly generate and i'm going to start by randomly generating four and if i feel like i want to add a fifth one then i'll do that at that point so I have my pretty random app up to generate the four shades. The minimum is zero, the maximum is 25. I do have the prevent rerolls option clicked so that I will get four different numbers. So let's start with the first one. Number seven, I think that's from the She's All That palette. <laughs> that is the shade Wink Wink, which is a beautiful matte red. Now for the next shade number one again from the she's all that palette and that's uncuffed which is a matte cream shade it has a very very slight pink undertone definitely more of a pink than like a yellow undertone which most matte creams would have i think that was a really great choice to have it have a slightly pinker undertone for that palette the third one is number 17 that is from the enduring love palette and that is the shade victoria which is a mid-tone brown, slightly cooler, and that is a matte as well, getting a lot of mattes, which I have no problem with. The next one is number 25, which is Deanna, and that is this olive brown here. I find that it just pulls more brown than like green olive, but that is, I guess, the shimmer for our four. I wouldn't say it's the most february themed or valentine's day themed look but that's okay still a really pretty pairing and i find that when i try to wear this green on my lids it definitely pulls more bronzy or neutral it doesn't really have that much of a green so i'm gonna zoom you in a bit and we're gonna get started i do have the rest of my face done i was gonna not put on highlighter or blush until after i did the look because i wasn't sure what colors i'd be wearing uh, but i forgot to do that but they are like neutral enough that i think whatever look i create with this will be fine I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and grab uncuffed that matte cream color and just put that in my crease. This will be a nice like brow bone matte highlight too. And I did use the Ulta eye primer and I did set that with the face powder that I used to set the rest of my face. Definitely a very, very brightening shade. It's really pretty. And I love using matte cream shades after I do the eye look whenever I want to brighten up the lower lash line and I also like using them to brighten up the um, inner portion of my eye as well so I kind of just do this. I'm pretty sure I saw Mariah Leonard do that a long time ago. And I think it's just such a good idea. Next I'm going to go in with Victoria, that third shade, on a fluffy brush. It's not as fluffy as the other one that I was using. I'm just putting that right in the crease without going too far in. I'm kind of keeping it towards the middle and outer edge. So I'm packing it in the crease and you know doing the back and forth motion and then whatever I have left on the brush I'm kind of just looking forward and making sure it's like visible above my crease as well. So I wet this packer brush from Real Techniques and I dipped it a little bit into that Deanna shade, that darkest shade on the bottom. And I am tapping it off and I'm going to tilt my, for, my forehead forward. 
um, so that I don't get a ton of fallout on my lid. And I'm going to gently pack that all over. I'm going to take my ring finger and grab a little bit more of that and just tap it. I don't generally love such dark <laughs> shades on my eye because it definitely just makes them look smaller and even more deep set. But I have an idea and I'd like to see it through. It might not work out, but we'll handle that when we get there. In the past, I've done some olive eyeshadow looks that had like a burnt orange in the crease. And I kind of want to do the same thing, but use that red instead. So I'm grabbing some of that red on a crease brush and I'm not going to like windshield wiper motion or anything. I'm kind of just going to lift my head a little bit and pat that. This is a trick I just learned um, from Claire Ashley, I'm pretty sure, on Instagram. <laughs> and then once it's far enough up, I will blend it a little bit. And I was able to dip my a fluffy brush in some loose powder and get rid of any fallout. And it looks clean. It looks like it all came off. So that's great. And I definitely don't want to put that red on my lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with that uh, Victoria shade again with a flat, thin brush. I don't typically put a lot on my lower lash line, but I feel like this look needs a little bit of balance. Oh, I just got a lot of light. The clouds moved and now the sun is like right in my face. <laughs> and I will go in a little bit with that Deanna, that um, olive. And put that there too. Should I put some red there to make it match? I don't know. Just a little bit. Very, very dark. I'm gonna go into Uncuffed, that cream shade. I'm gonna put some more of that on the inner corner just to make sure that part is bright, kind of like a matte highlight. It looks like it's just like all green on my lid and then the part above my crease is all red. Like I kind of want that to be a little bit more together so it's not just like green, red. I don't know. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of that green of where the red is, just patting. Then adding a little bit more red on top, not doing the windshield wiper motions, just patting. And then going back in with that matte under the eyebrow. Part of me wants to add just a little bit of brightness back into that center of the lid, especially since that green isn't like the most sparkly. So I kind of want to take a foiled shade. I don't know which one. Do I want to take that really light green or do I want to do something pink to kind of tie it in? I think I'll take the shade here, Fishnets. It's definitely more pink than gold. I'm just going to tap that on the center. Actually, I'm just going to put it all over. Just a little bit of like a sparkly, more diffused look. I'm going to attempt to do this on the other eye. The light keeps changing, so I'm not sure what looks the most realistic, but uh, I put some dark coal liner both on the upper and lower lash line, and I'm using an angled brush to blend that out, but I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M508 brush and that Victoria shade, and I'm just gonna make sure that that black is kind of melting in with the rest of the stuff I have on the lower lash line. I want to add a little bit to the top lash line, but I'm just doing it on the outer half, putting some and then using my angled brush to angle it out a little bit. I'm gonna put on mascara and a lip and show you the final look. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, definitely the most eyeshadow that I've put on my eyes in a very long time. <laughs> um, I really like how it turned out though. I think adding a little bit of a scattered lighter shade on top of everything did help brighten it up and also helped everything look a little bit more blended. There is that hint of red without it being too bright. I still feel like it is, I mean, I'm definitely wearing a lot. I never even wear 
usually eyeshadow or mascara on my lower lash line, but I am today. On my lips, I have the Lip Pencil Nude Truffle from NYX, and then I have Sugar Sugar from Marc Jacobs on top. I put a little bit on the center, and then I kind of just patted it in so that it wasn't so light, because it is a very light lip gloss color. I was glad to get an even mix. I got two shades from the ColourPop palette and two shades from the Sydney Grace palette. I wasn't sure what I was going to do going into it, and then when I had that green all over the lid and then the red in the crease, I was like, oh no, maybe I've done a little bit too much, but I think it looks really great. I'm very pleasantly surprised. I feel like I'm always so pleasantly surprised at the end of these eyeshadow bingos because it's just a chance for me to play around and maybe try techniques or color combinations that I don't usually think to use. And I think from now on, whenever I choose the two focus palettes or set of shadows that I'm going to be focusing on each month, I will either do a dedicated tutorial or I'll do like an eyeshadow bingo. Like I said, if you enjoy bingo videos like this, I do have an entire playlist. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.